ambaye amekeje hapa mwezi kuu yale ndio yasikia ndio yasoma na ndio yaona kuhusu ardhi mtine majibu yake haya kwa Kiswahili rahisi tunasema msiempenda yupo eh hapa kwenda mzee kafika ndamwe pia uwepo wa kaimu mkurugenzi wa wateja binafsi na biashara wa benki ya CRB Mr. Stephen Adil ambaye yuko naye kwa mesa kuu anaweza kutulia kidogo wa tosimbie ndamwe pia uwepo wa mkuu wa kitengo cha kali hapa CRB ndugu yangu Farid Saif na kwa wasanii pale mwanzo walitaja uwepo wao lakini nafikiri ni muhimu wa Tanzania ambao wanafuatilia ubasha na hafla hii wakafahamu tuko na wasanii gani hapa ndani hili ni jengo la benki bora Tanzania kwa maana ya CRB na CRB mara zote inaalika watu bora kwenye hafla zake na leo tuko na wasanii bora kabisa Tanzania hapa CRB nianza kutambua uwepo wa wasanii Madi rais wa Manzese ambaye hivi karibuni alitangaza anaacha mziki lakini mziki huo ukamrudisha kufanya mziki na sasa hivi anaendelea kufanya mziki wananchi wengine wao tu enjoy kwa madai karibu sana Madi Ndio tutambua pia uwepo wa Shemeji Shemeji yao kwa sababu huyu ameomba dada wa Mapareni kule Shemeji yangu Bilnas ambaye yuko naye hapa ndani. Karibu sana Bilnas. Karibu mkurugenzi wa Bilnas Bilnas amesimama kidogo. Eh, usalimie. Eh. Mwingi chini zoneka. Lakini pia anatongoa uwepo mkali wa Singeli. Shoro Mwamba ambaye yuko naye hapa ndani. Shoro simama kidogo. Ndiyo kuna watu wanaimba Singeli alafu kuna wasanii wa Singeli wa kimataifa. Shoro Mwamba ni msanii wa Singeli wa kimataifa. Lakini pia tutamue uwepo wa Tarum kutoka Next Level Music. Chui Rayvana. Karibu sana Rayvana. Pole kwanza kwa wanaokuta jana ndugu yangu. Sisi ya Africans kwa niaba ya CRB tunakupa pole. Kwa hali yako na ukubwa wako wewe sio mtu wa kwenda kuimbia watu 19. Na kimsingi walikuwa watu 15 magonjeni wako wanne ndio wakafanya jadi kwa 19. Pole sana ndio. Ni kwenye kutafuta lazima upitie mambo yote hayo. Sisi tunaelewa lakini hali ulipitia <laughs> Karibu sana ndugu uh, yangu Rayvanny kwenye hafla hii muhimu ambayo ya Africans tumekutana na benki bora Tanzania CRB kwa ajili ya kwenda kusain makubaliano maalum au mkataba kati ya klabu yetu na benki ya CRB Ni mkataba gani hapa sasa nichukue fursa hii kumkaribisha mtendaji wa Young Africans Andrew Tine ambaye anatueleza kwa kina ni mkataba gani ambao Young Africans tumeingia na CRB siku ya leo na hapa naomba utulie video kwa sababu huyu mzee anazungumza lugha tofauti na mimi mimi unaweza kuendelea kuchezea simu kaelewa lakini lugha atakayotumia huyu inabidi utulie mtazamo karibu sana sio kwa ambao mlitulia kama nasubiri ni tafsiri wakati ndio huu <laughs> Sio walichokuwa nakimaanisha hapa. Ya Africans leo inakwenda kusign mkataba exclusive na CRB kama partner wetu kwenye wiki ya wananchi. Ni exclusive kwa sababu ndio financial institution pekee itakayofanya kazi na Young Africans kwenye wiki ya wananchi. Na nami mmeanza kuona tayari eh, miongoni mwa faida ambazo 
Yenge Africans tumezipata kwa CIDB na CIDB wanazipata kutoka Yenge Africans. Ukianzia kwenye kusajili uh, wanachama wetu na mashabiki wetu kwenye mfumo wetu wa kidijitali lakini pia mmeona kwa mara ya kwanza club ya mpira wa mguu wa Tanzania anvilini ya wachezaji wake yani utambulisho wa wachezaji wake umedhaminiwa ni kwa mara ya kwanza kwenye historia ya mpira wa mguu wa chini na hao wadhamini si wengine ni benki ya CRB Tukwanao CIDB kutoka siku ya leo ambako utasaini mkataba huu mpaka kwenye kilele cha wiki ya wananchi tarehe 22 Julai pale Benjamin Mkapa. Kwa hiyo ambaye ameandaliwa kwa ajili ya kuleta ule mkataba hapa usainiwe ni vyema akaanza kusogea kabla hatujamkaribisha kaimu mkurugenzi wa hoteli binafsi hapa na biashara na CIDB ndugu Stephen Adili kuzungumza. Kwa kwanza tunge saini ya mabaliano alafu tumsikie kaimu mkurugenzi hapa akimwaga maneno. Na uzuri wa CIDB bwana ya kiongozi anatai na sauti kali. Sawa sawa. Karibu sana mshauri. Habari za asubuhi. Um allow me to say uh, to see our DB or protocols observed. Um it's a pleasure and honor to be in this auditorium once again, especially given today's events. As you are aware, we are launching Mondanji Week, which takes place next week and culminates obviously into Mondanji Day on the 22nd of June. What is so special about this occasion today? The occasion is special because we've signed an exclusive financial agreement with CRDB. Young Africans and CRDB, specifically for Wananchi Week. To CRDB, our all weather friend would like to say thank you very much. Uh, Wananchi Week, as you're all familiar with, um, has a lot of activities surrounding the week. This year, we're trying to make it a little different, a little more special. Uh, so we have a lot of activities um, lined up, including artists, etc. And I believe Ali Kamwe will be giving to you, the media, the public at large, and Wananji, the full program of the activities, uh, which will include obviously amongst other things, CSR, etc. The big one is that on uh, well, every day is big for Mwananchi Week. But I mention the big one because the last day of Mwananchi Week is Mwananchi Day. And normally it is during this day where we remind you to come and meet all our new players who will be presented there. We remind you to come and see a very special match between Yanda and Kaiser Chiefs. As you all know, Kaiser Chiefs uh, from South Africa uh, is a club with a big history, just like Yanda. And I think it would be a fantastic experience for both Yanda, Kaiser Chiefs and the fans to witness uh, or to be at this occasion. So we look forward to seeing you all uh, during the course of the week and on Mwananji Day. We encourage you to fill the stadium early so you can get in, watch your favorite artists, meets the new players, and then of course enjoy the match. Thank you very much. <laughs>